Thank you so much, Graham. Next up, we get to learn or get to know the Haas brothers a little bit better. Of course, they're famous the world over for their incredible beadwork and designs, even having designed for big stars such as Lady Gaga. But for their latest project called Freaks, they are heading to South Africa, working with local beaders, all to make a positive change. Twins Simon and Nikolai Haas are global sensations with their seating and vessels of biomorphic forms. They're not only designed for celebrities like Lady Gaga, but are producing a new collection called A Freaks in collaboration with South Africa's Monkey Buzz Beading Studio and Bronze Age Foundry. My girlfriend's a, a stylist. She showed some of our work, like experiments that we'd made to Nicola, and then he ended up commissioning us to do stuff for Lady Gaga. Piece-wise, specifically, uh, we made all those masks for her perfume campaign. We made these angel wings, all sorts of things, lots of stuff, <laughs> mainly costume stuff. Last year we were at the Guild Fair and we went to Design and Daba and we met Monkey Biz. We were so taken with their story and we met some of the women that worked on the project um, and we saw a real opportunity to uh, make some really good work and really collaborate with some people in need and empower people, give them a voice. When we got there we were just so excited to see <clears throat> the pieces were only just beginning. We came and checked in on them and grabbed the, we, we saw all the, the different samples that they had been making. And They also just brought so much ingenuity and creativity and thought and sensitivity to the project. So I guess working from America with them, I have to say it's one of the most satisfying uh, long distance uh, design collaborations we've ever worked on and it goes really far beyond making a collection. It's been a year now since we met them and uh, the way it's going now I think this is a three, four, five year project. Monkey Biz has three objectives, to alleviate poverty, to revive the arts of beadwork and to provide a platform for their bead artists. Thanks to the Air Freaks project with the Haas brothers, the beaders of Monkey Biz are getting international exposure. Every year we participate at the Design and Darba to showcase Monkey Biz and Guild had brought out the Haas Brothers as part of their, their exhibition. The Haas Brothers came past Monkey Biz and expressed their interest. They were very enthusiastic about, about Monkey Biz. They provided us with drawings and they were huge, they were big, they were exciting and they broke out of our, our norm completely. And when they came through, they were very, very interactive. Uh, it was an incredible experience. Monkey Biz has always been a craft. It's been a beading craft. And what we've done is with collaboration with Simon and, and, and Nikki Haas, they have given us this incredible opportunity of being able to take craft beadwork into a completely new realm of high art. Simon and Nikki have given each artist recognition for the pieces that they've done. Uh, we're not just manufacturers, we are artists and each artist has been recognized. This type of beadwork usually done by older generations is being preserved by companies like Monkey Biz. Their beaders also had to learn to do 3D beading for their freaks project. The designs I big and huge funny creatures that the Haas brothers has offered us to make. It wasn't easy because they are new from us. These animals, they are really fun and crazy. They look like a monster, but they are really amazing. The partnership came about thanks to the Southern Guild Design Fair. The fair is where local and international creatives and galleries with an African connection can come together. An ideal opportunity for groundbreaking collaborations. This beautiful project started with just sketches coming from Los Angeles and then little bead samples going back from Cape Town. And the House Brothers came here for weeks on end, beaded, explored. It's one of the most beautiful projects I've ever worked with because it's so meaningful and it's so authentic. I'm so proud that we will be launching uh, the first collection of our freaks in South Africa before it goes all around the world and elevating monkey biz to the status of, of you know, global stars. Ubuntu is often translated as the belief in a universal bond or sharing that connects humanity. And it's exciting to see this come to life in the world of art and design as well.